A. So in this problem, I wanted you to, um, to see that uh, heat and this is just another kind of energy, right? And in fact, um, so one calorie is about 4.2 um, joules, maybe kilojoules. Yeah, 4.2 joules. Um, and so initially what they will do to measure, you know, like uh, the amount that a substance heats up like water, and they will have like a paddle over here, kind of like that maybe, oops. And with some torque over here, so they will, this will be in a liquid uh, on a table then they will let an object fall. And so the paddle will move around and they know they change of potential energy from the height uh, of the table or whatever. And they will measure, you know, by how much the water was heating up. So, yeah, pretty decent idea. So in this problem, you're given some data so it says that the amount of energy required to heat one gram of ice by one degree Celsius is 2.05 joules, melt one gram of ice will take you, will cost you 233 joules. Heat what gram of water by one degree, so heat one gram so this is solid water, this is liquid water. And by one degree Celsius is 4.19, which I guess is the number that I was um, looking for before. And to boil one gram of liquid water will be 2,500 joules, you require a lot of energy to boil water. Water in general is a material that can contain a lot of heat. And uh, finally, heat one gram of steam. So now is um, water in the ga gas state by one degree Celsius, 2.01 joules. And then they ask you um, how much energy is required in order to convert one gram of ice that initially is at minus 20 degrees Celsius into steam at 137 Celsius. Okay, so we start over here at negative 20. And we know that at zero Celsius, maybe over here, is gonna go from, um, from solid to liquid. And then somewhere maybe, uh, well, maybe this one was kind of like over here. Doesn't really matter. Maybe this one over here at 100 Celsius is going to become a vapor, right? So solid 
uh, liquid and vapor or steam. Steam, water, ice. So we can also write it like that. Actually, this should not be vapor, this should be, let's write gas. So we have the three states. Over here is ice. Here is just water. Here is just um, steam. Good. Okay. So if we want to heat one gram of ice by one degree Celsius, we need 2.05 joules. So in order to bring it from negative 20 Celsius to 20 Celsius, we're going to need twenty. And I guess the right way to write it will be Two point zero five joules per Celsius, and we want to do twenty Celsius, right? So it will be zero Celsius minus negative twenty. That's the plus. So twenty Celsius. And then over here, the if we continue adding heat, the ice is not going to increase its temperature anymore. Uh, you need to pay this price, the 333 joules, to melt it, right? So this this is uh, usually called the um, um, I guess heat of fusion. It's a latent heat. So be just 333 joules. I'm going to put it over here. It's a plus 333 joules. You melt it, and now you're in the, in the liquid phase. And now these numbers are the ones that matter. So this will be 100 minus 0. That's 100 Celsius. And now we have 4.19 joules per degree Celsius. And then you have the same phenomenon going from liquid to gas as you had going from solid to liquid. You have a latent heat. So you can continue adding heat and it will stay at 100 Celsius. Once you pay this 2,500 joule price, joules price, then it will become a gas and um, it will evaporate. And you know this, of course, is useful for cooking because you can keep the temperature pretty close to 100 Celsius um, you know, without um, too much trouble. It doesn't like shoot up to like 200 or something. It stays there because of the latent heat. So that price is 2,500 joules per gram, but this is still one gram of water. And then at the end, we want to increase the temperature of the steam from 100 to 137 Celsius. So it's 137 minus 100, that's 37 degrees Celsius. And for steam is 2.01 joules per degree Celsius. Awesome. So then the total amount of energy that we need to add to this poor gram of uh, initially ice is 
41 joules plus 333 joules plus, well, this is gonna be 419 joules plus 2,500 joules. Uh, so you can see how it requires much more energy to make it a, a gas than to keep it in the, let go from zero to 100 Celsius. So yeah, good, for, good for cooking. And then this one is gonna be um, 74 uh, joules. So we can add everything together. And so the answer is 300, I mean, 3,367 um, joules. And so the answer, you know, it's about 3,400 joules. And joules, you know, of course, is unit of energy. Doesn't matter if it's potential, kinetic, or heat. Um, what is the minimum? This is part B. What is the minimum amount of hot water that could melt one gram of ice? So if you want to melt uh, ice, you better be at zero Celsius. That would be the minimum. And so the to melt one gram of ice, you need 300 and 33 joules. What is the minimum amount of hot water? So it means that the water has enough energy uh, to give it here. And so, Water has 419 